Hello everybody, my name is Mike Guy, and in uh, this video we are going to add uh, audio to our game and sort of wrap things up. I'm starting with the code from the previous video uh, where we added backgrounds, and we are going to add a couple things. We're going to add some sound effects when we fire a bullet, we're going to add sound effects for when we either blow up a comet or a comet collides with the ship, and we are going to add background music. Now, I do, uh, I do want to say before I start that I made all of the sounds uh, in Audacity the other night um, in like five minutes. Basically, it's just me talking into my microphone. So the sounds, I like to think they're a little comical, but really they're just kind of ridiculous. Um, especially the background song. So uh, as you're watching along, you know, you can use my sounds. I highly encourage you to find better sounds. However, uh, I, I did this for you guys, so please don't make fun of me. Anyway, uh, so a couple things we need to do. We need to uh, read in the proper headers. So I'm going to go up to the top here. I'm going to do pound include, and it's going to be Allegro 5 slash uh, Allegro audio. Uh, now, in my, my shell code, uh, I, I do my slashes like that. Uh, that's the the proper universal way uh, if you're not if you're using something besides Visual Studio. However, since this video has all of the slashes in the old way, that way I did it uh, before someone informed me that uh, other development environments use uh, the other slash better, uh, I'm just going to keep on track. But if you're using a different development environment, obviously uh, flip your flip your slashes. Okay, uh, and then I'm going to do pound include Allegro 5 uh, that's going to be Allegro Audio Codec .h. Okay, uh, so that'll give us access to everything we need to do there. And then when we uh, <clears throat> come down here to uh, where we're creating our, our bullets, our comets, and our explosions in our ship, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put my sounds here. Once again, making my sounds global. Uh, don't really like to do that, but it's going to make things quite easier here. So uh, once again, these things are going to be global. Cool. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have my Allegro sample, and my sample is going to be a uh, shot. Okay, well, no. I'm going to go ahead and grab this line of code, paste it a couple more times. So I'm going to have a shot, I'm going to have boom, and I'm going to have song. All right. Uh, so that's going to be when I shoot a bullet, when something explodes, and it's going to be the background audio. And then I'm going to have my Allegro sample instance. And that's going to be song instance. And that'll be no. So basically, uh, whenever I shoot, uh, I'm gonna play the sound. Whenever something explodes, I'm gonna play the sound. I don't need to make sample instances of these. I can play just the samples. They're short. I don't need to know if they're playing. I don't need to be able to stop them. You know, things like that. I just want to be able to play the sound every time I shoot a bullet. So um, really, don't need multiples. Or I'm sorry, not multiples, but uh, song instances of these. Uh, or just sample instances of these. I do, however, want to be able to control my song, uh, and so I'm going to create a song instance to sort of wrap that one together. Okay, and so now I'm going to come down into, well, first off, let me come down all the way down and destroy these before I forget. So I'm going to do AL destroy sample, and I'm going to destroy shot. Let me grab that line of code. And we'll also destroy boom and song. And then I'm also going to destroy sample instance. And we will destroy, oops, song instance. Awesome. All right. Now, with that done, let's go ahead and load our sounds in. Remember, before we can work with any particular sounds, we need to initialize uh, uh, the add on, which we're doing in this section here. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to do uh, al install audio like that and an al init uh, a codec add-on just like that. That'll allow us to work with our sounds. And now I can come down here after we load these in and I can do al reserve samples. Uh, I'm going to reserve 10 just because I shouldn't need any more than that. And then I'm gonna do shot equals al load sample, and I'm going to load shot.odg like that. Um, oh, and that's shot, not hot. And I'll grab that line of code, 
paste it two more times. I'm also going to load boom and song. And I'll come over here and change that to boom and song. Awesome. All right. So those will handle my three samples. I still need to handle my instance. So I'm going to say song instance. I'm just going to equal al create sample instance and I'm going to pass in song just like that and then I'm going to I want this song to repeat so I'm going to do al set sample instance play mode and I'm going to pass in song instance and I'm going to pass in allegro play mode there we go and then I'm going to attach my sample to my default mixer. So I'm going to do AL attach sample instance to mixer. And I'm going to pass in song instance. And I'm going to pass in AL get uh, default there we go, uh, mixer. Awesome. All right. So my sound is now ready to go. Fantastic. Now the cool thing is this, is since uh, sample instance is going to be, or song instance, I'm sorry, song instance is going to be whenever we're playing the game, we can actually create the controls for our song instance inside of our change state. So I'm going to come down here to change state, uh, and what I'm going to do is I am going to take uh, here where we enter playing mode, and I'm simply going to say L play sample instance. And I'm going to pass in song instance. And then when we leave the playing state, I'm going to say L stop sample instance. Pass in song instance. Great. See how easy that is? So now whenever we enter the state, we'll play it. Whenever we leave the state, we'll stop playing. Awesome. Uh, a couple more things. When I fire my bullet, let me find that here. Uh, fire bullet. Okay, so when I fire my bullet, I'm going to do AL play sample. Oh, play my shot sample. Great. And also when I collide my bullet, I'm going to do AL play. Oh, you know what? And that occurs to me. I just type that out. Really, really think about it. Uh, AL play sample takes a lot more things than just one. It's not like the sample instance. So I got to do shot, and I got to do my gain. I got to do my pan. My speed, my play mode, which is going to be so. I put this I gotta wrap my notes to remember that. I always forget that one. So we got Allegro play mode once, and then my ID is gonna be zero. I don't want to store the ID, so I'm actually gonna grab this line of code here. Now I'll come down to where I collide my bullet, and when I collide bolts, I'm gonna play boom. And then let me go to my comets, and when I collide comets, so if the comet collides with the player, uh, I'm going to make my boom there. Awesome. Okay, so um, really, I'm just building it here, make sure I don't have any errors. Um, really, that's all all our sound. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna play this, and and I warn you right now, uh, for those of you watching this, uh, prepare to be amazed uh, by my audio. So we've got our game here. I'm gonna press play. Boom, 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 and uh, sounds pretty good, right? That's just me in the background singing there. So that's right. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. You're thinking this is probably the best game soundtrack you've ever heard. Um, and you know I understand. It's so, so pretty darn good. Um, but anyway, <laughs> anyway, I'll, I will provide this the uh, audio clips for you in uh, in the source code, and you can go ahead and listen to them uh, as much as you'd like. Uh, though I encourage you highly to make your own audio or to uh, go out and download some internet or uh, uh, whatever. But okay, so at this point, our game is pretty fully featured. I mean, we have a title screen. Uh, we have a, a lose screen. You'll notice the audio stopped, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we have our lose screen with our final score. 
uh, our state's installed. I can press the space bar again. We've got a background, we've got audio. Um, there's not a whole lot more I want out of this game. Right? Uh, this game feels pretty solid to me. It's just a sort of standard little, you know, fun game here. Um, so, pretty much gonna, you know, quit playing around with it at this point uh, and, and, and call it a day. Uh, what I do want to do in the next video is I'd like to go through um, I'd like to go through the steps in deploying this into an installable package. Uh, so we'll we'll talk about that, and then then in a future appendix, I'd like to completely remake this game uh, using object-oriented programming, kind of give you guys a feel for how that works with video games, sort of clean up code, make things more efficient. So. Um, so with that in mind, stand by, and uh, the next video will be about deployment.